Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. Well students, in this class we will be learning all the operators in C and we will perform some programs to demonstrate all those operators. First let's understand what's an operator. An operator is a symbol which operates on a value or a variable, right? For example, plus is an operator to perform addition. Likewise, we have a plenty of operators in C language that uh, that is going to perform on an operand or a pair of operands. And now we look at the types of operators. So arithmetic operators, we have understood what are the different kinds of arithmetic operators plus for addition, minus for subtraction, uh, asterisk for multiplication, forward slash for division and the modulus operator to get the remainder after a division. And unary operators, there are two kinds of unary operators, uh, increment and decrement. Increment operator is represented with a pair of plus symbol and decrement with a pair of minus symbol. Relational operators are also there lesser than, greater than, lesser than equal to, greater than equal to, equal to and not equal to. Logical operators, so there are logical conditions to check and we use a double ampersand for logical and operation and double pipeline for logical or operation and for logical not uh, there is an exclamatory symbol. And at last the bitwise operators. So these are the bitwise operators starting from the left this is bitwise and or binary and this is bitwise or this is bitwise XOR and a pair of a pair of less than symbols represent the bitwise left shift operator and this is bitwise right shift operator and this is one's complement. So now we'll learn a program demonstrating both the increment and decrementing operator All right so demo of increment and decrement operators so now I'll declare two variables a and b and two more variables uh, for storing the result of increment and decrement right or the four variables are of the type integer and now let's go and perform uh, the increment and decrement operator so first I'll use the variable increment so inc for increment this variable to store the result after the incrementation performed on a variable a right so let me initialize the variable a uh, with 5 so now A has got the value 5 and B has got the value 8. Okay. I'll put the increment variable, increment operator here uh, before the variable. So what it does is the increment operator will increase the value of A by 1 and it's going to be stored in the variable INC. Okay. And in the decrement where in the decrement variable I will store the decremented value of B so this uh, pair of minus symbol will indicate the decrement operation so this will bring down the value of B by 1 so now decrement has got value less by 1 and increment the variable INC has got the value increased by 1 now let's go and print the values of both increment and decrement first let me add clear screen call here so look at here guys in the first printf statement I have told like incremented value of A is percent D that is INC and decremented value of B is percent D that is DEC so let's find out what will be the output so look at here so 5 has incremented to 6 and 8 is decremented to 7 because before increment uh, A has got the value of 5 and B has got the value 8 so A is increased to 6 and B has in decreased and B has decreased to 7 so this is how uh, the 
increment and decrement operators work but guys remember this is pre increment and pre decrement operators when we use the increment operator before the variable it's going to perform pre increment that means first the incrementation operation uh, will happen so then only the result is going to be stored in uh, the specified variable the incrementation happens before the assignment so now friend let me teach you uh, the post increment and post decrement operations in C language so this is similar to increment and decrement operations we use the same increment and decrement operators but the incrementation and decrementation happen after uh, after the assignment it is called as post increment and post decrement right whatever we did in the previous program is called as pre increment and pre decrement which means increment and decrement happen before the result is going to store in the uh, specified variable so let's see what is the scenario in post increment and decrement first i'll use two variables to store the data int a equals to 5 and b equals to 8 right I will now we'll use a uh, post increment so PI for post increment and PD for post decrement right so let me add the function call first here and first I'll print the values okay so now I'll increment a which is called as post increment so the operator is same here the only difference is we put the increment operator after the variable a which means first the assignment happens first the value of a is stored in the variable pi then the incrementation of a happens so now let me print the content of pi printf the incremented value is equal to person d comma pi so let's go and run this program so remember uh, i have incremented a and stored the value in pi variable so let's see what happens control f9 so value of a before increment is 5 the incremented value is also 5 I've incremented though I've incremented PI has got the value still 5 why because the value of A is assigned to PI before incrementation right so the incrementation is happening after the assignment which is called as post increment so now let's go and print the same sentence shift insert right so value of a after increment let us check this control f9 so look at here value of a after increment is 5 but the value is not stored in pi value pi variable okay so this is called as post increment let us perform uh, the post decrement here I'll just change the content here I will use P PD instead of PI and B minus minus let's see what happened so value of B before increment so the increment before decrement right and the decremented value is equal to PD value after decrement is equal to B value of B after decrement is B right control F9 value of B before decrement is 8 the decremented value is also 8 value of b after decrement is 7 why still 8 is showing here because it has got the value before the decrementation has happened i hope you understood this concept so once you work out this program you'll understand it better well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter 
and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.